Hi, I'm Dan Brera, and let's take a quick look at setting the Lantic 4 auto test defaults. So the auto test defaults is a setting that will configure the default test type whenever you create a new job. So if you're always doing a CAT 6A or CAT 6A test or class E, uh, whatever the type, and that's the vast majority of the work you're doing, when you create a new job, instead of having to go in and set it to that category, it will, um, with using this settings, it will set that job to that test standard by default. So that just saves steps when configuring a new job when you are usually testing the same type of cabling. So let's look at how to do that. Hit the preferences icon and we go into device settings. And um, there are several settings here, but we have auto test default settings. So this screen gives us the um, whether or not we need job identifiers that's discussed in the separate video. And those are metadata tags. So that means um, we are telling that when we create a new job, if we want to identify the building, floor, closet, panel, um, as separate searchable fields in addition to the name of the actual test itself. So not required means it's not going to be um, required when we create a new job. If let's say I always want to record at least the um, panel or cabinet or something like that when I create a new job, um, we'll just set that to custom. And we default the test um, I prefix name to port. So maybe I want to use outlet or I want to use port with a colon or port with a dash. Uh, you can type whatever you want in there and that will be the new default test prefix. And then the range we default from one to 24. Maybe you want to do it one to 12 or one to 48 or whatever it is that's most convenient for you. Probably most importantly would be your test standard. So currently this tester is set to default to ISO class EA, uh, but maybe I want to default to uh, TIA CAT 6A, for example. So I will change it from ISO to TIA, uh, permanent link, CAT 6A, and instead of CAT 6A max, we'll just do the regular CAT 6A. And we want to use uh, UTP cabling. So I'll go generic uh, CAT 6A UTP, and the default MVP is 68. Maybe most of the cable you install is NVP of uh, 68 instead of 72. Sorry, I believe I said 68. So our default is 72. We'll change that to 68. Enter. Okay. So um, we could also choose connectors there. So we'll hit tick on that. And we have the same options for fiber, choosing the test standard. Now up here on the job, I set custom. So now we've got to go and choose um, what of these fields you want to be required when we uh, create a new test by default. So let's say I only really want to make sure I'm always identifying the panel. And instead of panel, I can change it to patch panel block CP, MDF, etc. Um, so patch panel. So now I'm happy. I've got um, CAT 6A uh, UTP default test standard port 1 to 24. And we will always have to put in an ID for the patch panel. So hit the tick mark, and now that's been set. So now every time I create a new job, those are the default settings for the new job. I can always change those when I'm creating a new job. Any of those settings can be changed at the time I'm creating it. But if the vast majority of my work follows that template, then that just saves you a bunch of steps whenever you're creating new jobs. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.